This is a video in a series of simple tricks. Here we have a patient which is a non-dilating pupil fixed with posterior sinicae and a fibrotic pupillary membrane with a floppy iris. Now this is a small fixed pupil. We ensure that we uh, stain the capsule by pushing some dye underneath the pupillary opening. And then after that we very gently after installation of viscoelastic break the adhesions. Once we are ensured that the adhesions of the posterior sinicae have been broken, we instill viscoelastic into the anterior chamber and now we will use two instruments. Uh, before we use two instruments to dilate the pupil, we will break the sphincteric fibrotic membrane. Now it is important to break this membrane at these pieces because wherever you break the membrane is the area where the pupil will actually help uh, be helped to dilate and stretch. Now once we've broken the membrane, we use two blunt instruments. One is a Lester's manipulator and second one is a blunt wire rotator. We stretch the pupil in a linear manner, but while we do that, we make sure that we don't injure the structures in the angle. And there you see, in a simple maneuver, the pupil has been dilated well to nearly a size of 5 mm. Now, once this is done, we proceed with a capsular excess. One thing to remember is in this such cases, sometimes the excess is fibrotic and sticky and uh, the capsule is fibrotic, can be brittle. So sometimes we end up making a smaller capsular excess. So once you have a smaller capsular excess, one word of caution is when you do your hydro procedure, especially your hydro delineation and hydro dissection, while doing hydro dissection, the pressure of fluid doesn't have to be very, very aggressive. Otherwise you can have a capsular block and cause a posterior capsular opening. So if you have a smaller capsular excess, make sure that the hydro dissection is not very aggressive. We are just fast forwarding the video here to make the surgery video a little bit faster and less time consuming because the area of the interest for this video was to show a simple stretch pupilloplasty which can be used in these patients where we can actually do a decent job of pupillary dilatation. You see, we have a 5 mm pupil and the eye is going in and the surgery is completed without use of any tools like uh, pupil expanders or iris hooks or any other tool like that. Thank you.